the whole bike helmet wearing, seatbelt wearing, lame generation. They think they're so cool. You know what I mean, Ronnie? Want to hear something funny? When a comic up, you know? does well, it's said that she so cool. killed. With their safe sex. In my generation, safe sex is when you did it without handcuffs. That's all. But a bad performance, well, that's called dying. And it really hurts. I just remember dying here. I just remember dying. Comedian Susie Essman remembers every time she's died on stage. And then afterwards, you lie in bed at night and you go through the set and you're like, what happened? How did I lose them? What happened? All right, you know what, Larry? I can handle this. He's my husband. Shut the f up, okay? okay? It's sick, Jeff. On HBO's oh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Essman was hilarious sure, and out. tough as nails. But she shudders, recalling one grisly near-death experience. There's a guy sitting right in front with his back to me. And the guy never turns around. And this starts to really, really bother me. And I go after him. I just start lacing into him and just how rude he is and blah, 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 blah. And there's a hush. I lost the audience. Then I notice there's a seeing eye dog next to the guy. <laughs> he was blind. <laughs> And he was at his back to me because it didn't matter which way he was facing, and he was blind. So then I see, I see that I'm like, oh, all right, now I got to get this them is back. So what I the way that I got them back was I turned myself in. I had to say, all right, now I picked on the blind guy. I'm the worst person in the whole world, and I got him back. Is dying something that a comic needs to go through? Yes. Yeah, I, I would say I've learned more from my bad sets than my good sets. If there's a comic out there that has told you they have never died, they're either completely delusional or they're lying. Joan Rivers is a comedy legend. Oh, let's talk. You know? Here she is in Atlantic City. How stupid do I look? Don't answer that. It, <laughs> we're in New Jersey. I've heard about your educational system. It is, oh, oh, But even oh, legends oh, sure. can lose an audience. Oh, sure, turn against me, that's fast. In the first minute and a half, I've already lost you. After nearly 50 years on stage, the fear of dying still grips her. Terror. I'm dreading that they're not going to think I'm funny. And I'm back to first grade. Uh, you're taking me back, like when, your, when you try to make a friend and somebody says, I don't want to be friends with you. It's that, it's that basic. We don't like you. We don't want to be your friends. It's it's terrible. Imagine how terrible it is when you're still struggling to make it. Sim Goodson, everybody, let him hear it. Simeon Goodson has a full-time job with the city of New York. When I got arrested, they took my license. But he's been pursuing the dream of a stand-up career for 10 years. You know what's even worse than that? They called my mother. I was like, oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> to Goodson, oh, his jokes are like children. Yeah, like, these are my kids. Let me introduce you to these kids. They sing and dance. And then people are like, wow, those songs and dances were awful. We hate your kids. I hate, yeah, I hate your kids, and I hate you for raising them that way. And they're like, oh, wow. Even if I bombed horribly, I still had to go back. Gilbert Gottfried! Gilbert Gottfried has been staring down death since the age of 15. Calm down, the act is not going to be that funny. When people talk about dying, is dying the word for it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like when people ask me, did you ever die on stage? It's like saying to an Olympic swimmer, did you ever get wet? Uh, so you're a championship fighter. Did anyone ever punch you in the face? Said, okay. okay. Godfrey knows of what he speaks. Three weeks after the 9-11 attack on the World Trade Center at a Comedy Central Friars Club roast of Hugh Hefner, he told this joke. Oh, I have to leave early tonight. I have to fly out to L.A. I couldn't get a direct flight. We have to make a stop at the Empire State Building. And forget it. I lost an audience like no one could lose an audience before. And I mean, they were booing, hissing. And if you had told me from that, that moment of time after that joke that I was there for 10 years, I'd believe you. A talent agent is sitting in his office. But Gottfried recovered. Family. They might have to clean this up for TV. And slayed the audience by telling a joke so dirty 
we could never show it here. Do you ever die now? Uh, yeah, during this interview. Mom? Joan and daughter Mom. Melissa have their own cable TV series. This is great. What are you look doing? Look at all the space back there. Oh, look at this screw. Who? But Joan, at 80, still risks death live on stage. The title of her upcoming tour? Quick before they close the lid. Oh, God, this is horrible. But how do you think actual death will compare with dying on stage? I think actual death would be a lot easier than dying on stage because, uh, you know, if you do it right, you can go looking good and maybe with a little quip. I loved everybody, <laughs> but dying on stage, oh, God, <laughs> it's just shame. Shame. How do you scrub it off? Shame stays with you until the next night when you go on stage and you prove, no, no, no. I'm right, they were wrong last night.